And we're back with more Blackwell Epiphany, heading on to Skanky Heather's house, I suppose. See some dead ghosties there. Pretty solid. No way I'm getting through. Hey, how'd you get in? Ah, hello, miss. Answer my question. How'd you get in? Oh, the gate was open. Is that all right? Sure, I guess. Just be sure to close it when you leave. I don't want to get in trouble. Excuse me, miss? Oh, hi. What's up? Is your name Heather Goffstein? Oh, I see. You came from Ray. Ray? Of course. You did come from Ray, right? Sure, Ray. Him and me go way back. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think you do. If you want a date... <laughs> no one in this game is a good liar. A date? Isn't that why you're here? No, not at all. I just want to talk. Really? Really. Well, I suppose that's all right, but we should stay out here. If we don't go in the bedroom, then it's not a date. Okay. You live here? I do. Why? No reason. Just making conversation. Well, Heather, I have to get going. Sure. I'd leave the gate open, but for some reason, I don't think that will be a problem for you. Nope. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about someone named Ray? I don't know who he is, but I think he's involved with prostitution. Prostitution? Is this related to Leah's case? I don't know. It could be. This just gets better and better. Anyway, Ray, let's take a look. Okay, the name Ray definitely comes up in the Vice Department database. There was a raid on a bar called Vantini a few years ago, and someone named Ray was taken in for questioning. No charges were made. Just Ray? No last name? No. Whoever Ray is, that's his full legal name. Anyway, here's the address of the bar if you need it. Thanks. Sure. Let's head to Vantini's. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Will you look at this, Denise? Someone brave enough to join us in this weather. Well, brave or stupid, anyway. Uh, right. Whoever this was, he signed it, Thanks for the tie, with love, A.G. It's Abe Goldfarb, who actually voices the ghost, Joey. Use your tie on yourself, Joey. What the? Red, do you see that? Whoa! Huh? Where the hell am I? Whatever this place is, it's not kosher. I think we're in space. Are, are we in space? Because this really looks like space. Does that mean you guys will implode? Because that would be awesome. Uh, I mean tragic. Definitely tragic. Trust me, we're not in space. You lot are missing the bigger picture. The question isn't where we are, but why are we here? That's a question that's been asked since the beginning of time. That's not the point, mate. Think about it. 
I'm thinking that I wish I still had my ship. What about you, little guy? Can't you fly out there and bring back help? I don't fly. I hover. I can totally fix that! I'm pretty good with robots. You want a jetpack? I gave Hero a jetpack once. He's due to re-enter orbit any week now. This is, uh, um, what I'm assuming no. is different Nobody characters messes around that inside me except Abe Goldfarb has voiced. By the Bloody way, is that a Jewish name ever? For a blasted minute. Why are we here? What led us here? Who can say? What led you here? Everything's connected. All things have a pattern that can be followed. And so anyways, we need to go back to the pattern? vortex. That was... Interesting. Hi. Hey, what can I get for you? So what can you tell me about this place? It's old. Quiet. I like it that way. Really? Yeah. I work on my thesis most nights. Honestly, I'm surprised a big place like this can stay open. It's always empty. Do you know Ray? Ray? Yeah, is he here? No, no, he is not. Uh, I better not drink. I need to keep a clear head. How about a coffee or something? Suit yourself. No thanks, I already have one. Hmm, I see. It's 3 a.m. and I'm getting lit. Do you know Heather Gobstein? Sorry, I don't. Well, thanks. I better get going. Well, she was mildly useless. Talk to Grandma. Excuse me. Hmm. Yes. I'm looking for Ray. It's like one of the I Golden Girls. Her. Ray, huh? And why would you be looking for Ray? I need to talk to him. I can't go into specifics, but it involves a woman who worked for him. Worked for him? Hmm. In what capacity? She was a working girl, Heather Goffstein. She worked for Ray, and now she's dead. Hmm. I see. Worked is the appropriate word, I suppose. Heather left my employ a long time ago. Your employ? Yes. You want to speak to Ray? She's right in front of you. The former Rachel Mendez at your service. Whoa. So Heather worked for you. Can you tell me about her? It's been, gosh, several years. I'm afraid I can't tell you much. She was very young, very pretty. Slightly lost, perhaps, so like many of my girls. She's really dead? How did it happen? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Is this a police matter? Not directly. I'm working with them, but I'm pretty... Well, in that case, ask me whatever you like. Did Heather have any enemies? An obsessive client or anything? I suppose anything is possible, but not likely. I screen our clients very carefully, and I keep very careful records. How does this business work, exactly? There's no bedroom upstairs, if that's what you are asking. I own several apartments in the city. I give the girls room and board in exchange for the money they receive. Some of them skim. Hell, all of them skim. But I make sure to treat them well. They treat me well in return. You said Heather left your employee. Could you explain? Just that. She packed up and left. And you were okay with that? You think I would drag her back against her will? Absolutely not. And what would be the point? I replaced her the next week. It's the nature of this business. Some girls try the life, discover it's not for them, and then leave. Some stay for years and it grinds them alive. But occasionally, with luck and persistence, one can flourish, like I did. Well, I guess I should go. Best of luck. Granny is so beat down. Banging her would be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. So 
Oh, got a totem too? <sighs> Damn it. Why can't they fix the drafts in this crappy place? I can't talk to her, can I? You know, you never know. No reaction. But to be fair, she's so drunk she probably wouldn't react to the building falling down. Hi, Rosangelo. So you work here? Not directly, but I suppose I'm as much a fixture here as anything else. If you kept careful records, does that mean you have a list of Heather's clients somewhere? No. I'm sorry, but no. I really need that client. Absolutely. I give a premium product, and our clients expect privacy as p That client list stays in my office where it belongs. Well, boo on you. I could bring in the police. I'd like to see you try. Every few years they try and raid this place, make a show of getting tough. But nothing sticks. I make sure of that. Don't you want to know what happened to Heather? That client list could help. You have no reason to suspect one of her clients had anything to do with it. You can't even tell me how she died. I won't betray my client's trust based on a flimsy guess. Well, I guess that's everything. We need everything. more proof. Sorry I can't help you. For what it's worth, I liked Heather. I'm sad she's dead. I suppose a drink to her memory is in order. Care to join me? Thanks, but no. Mm, more for me then. Denise, one gimlet, please. You know how I like it. How oh. odd. Denise, could you get that for me? Blew your shit off. fingers tonight. Oh, Denise. <sighs> God damn it, Joey. Oh, that's fucking annoying. As soon as you click on an entrance or an exit, it automatically... Oh, I miss Butterfingers tonight. Does that. Oh, There's Denise. no way to cancel it. <sighs> Your nipples are gonna Damn get it. hard. It's locked from the inside. Oh, and that. <sighs> it's now a puddle of foul, coffee-flavored water, but at least it's melted. I think I got it all, but I'm not carrying around this wet rag. Good thing there's a dumpster here. Okay, you can do this. Let's see. Close your eyes, jump and pray. First try. Dumpster jumper. I shouldn't play around on this fire escape any longer than I have to. You know, we've been through a lot, you and I. But sneaking into the secret office of a known flesh peddler, this tops the list. Okay, let's see here. Client list, client list. You're kidding me. What? It's a text file, clientlist.txt. And that's good? Good for us. All I need to do is transfer the file to this memory stick. And we've got it. Some security. I guess with the secret door and paying off the police, you didn't feel the need for any more. 
that and she's a bit old. She might not know a lot about computers. Huh, I can relate. No point in going back. I can't get back down the ladder. Ahem. Oh. Oh, whoops. Hi. Um. I was just looking for the bathroom. Is it up here? The bathroom. In the office behind the secret panel. Um, yes. I've been meaning to glue that window shut. I suppose I should thank you. But first, give me that memory stick. Um, here. Thank you. That's now not the real one, that's my backup. And, leave. <sighs> and I'd almost gone a full three hours without a restraining order. Well, the night's still young. And I need another cup of coffee. Some kind of headshot photo. Probably someone famous who uses the gym. Let's see here. Tanya Corsi. Hey, wait a second. Is that? Yeah, that's the spook from George's roof. Interesting. Back to George's then. So, have you heard of this Tanya Corsi person? Tanya Corsi? Was she in the gym? No, it's the name of our roof spook. Is she famous or something? You could say that. She has a TV show. I think you mean she had a TV show. Let's get going. Hi there. Hello again, mister. What brings you by? You're Tanya Corsi, aren't you? Ah, <sighs> I knew you'd get it. That's me, Tanya Corsi, host of the Good Morning Show on Channel 11. Never heard of it. Now all the mystery is gone. I'll go make me a sandwich, Tanya. Are you sure you don't know anything? No, please. Do you know anyone named Ray? Ray? Is that all you got? I think Ray might be involved in prostitution. Ring any bells? That's more of a late night news kind of story. I'm early morning. We're all about the rainbows and sunshine. Do you know a uh, Heather Goffstein? No. No, I don't. Come on. That note on the floor, it has Heather written on it. So? Like I told you, it has no meaning to me. I don't know any Heather. This bitch is in serious denial. So, I heard you go to Peter Fielding's gym. I do. Or rather, I did. After what happened to him, I just couldn't... You mean his... Death? Yes. So senseless. Does the name Benjiro ring any bells? Benjiro? Is that Japanese? I believe so. Sorry, I don't know anyone named Benjiro. So, Tanya, tell me about yourself. <laughs> you want to get to know the real Tanya Corsi. The Tanya that you don't read about in the tabloids and magazines? If you let me. I barely know you, Mr. Malone. Although if you swing by more often, you might learn a thing or two. Do you know a Michael Cooper? I don't. Do you know anything about a... Grace Group? You sure you don't know anything about the Ray I mentioned? Sorry, no. I think that's it. Well, Tanya, I have to get going. Ta. Let's see if we can find out more about this Tanya on Ugo. Tanya was the host of the Good Morning Show. I remember hearing that they got a new host, but I didn't know this was the reason. Channel 11. I think their head office is in Penn Plaza. Can't hurt to ask around. 
It is with tremendous sadness that we announce the passing of Tanya Corsi after a tragic accident. Most only knew her as the charming and bubbly host of Channel 11, Good Morning Show, but those who worked closely with her know her as the razor sharp intellect who paid her dues and became one of the best loved media personalities in the world. Tanya will be missed. Excuse me. Nah. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Do you work here? No, he's just Certainly sitting at the fucking Jim desk Peace. for his Senior producer. shits and giggles. So what do you do here? I'm the head producer for The Good Morning Show with Kathy Carton. Isn't that Tanya Corsi's old show? Yes, it is. Did you work here when Tanya was alive? Yes. Why do you ask? I'm looking into her death. Wasn't it an accident? That's why I'm looking into it, just to be sure. Huh. Well, all right. It's pretty empty here tonight. Well, look outside. The weather's horrible, and almost everybody commutes to work. Nobody can get in, so we're running on a skeleton crew. A note was found in Tanya's apartment. It was signed J. And? And your name begins with J. Did you write it? Seriously? You're in journalism. You know that any lead is worth following. Well, sorry, I didn't write any note to Tanya. Not that I remember. Do you know anything about the death of Peter Fielding? He owned a gym in Murray Hill. No, although you've reminded me I haven't hit the gym in a while. I suppose I should go. Can you think of any other Jays who might have written that letter? I can think of six who work in this office alone. I'm sure there are dozens more. All right, Jim Peebles. Well, thanks for your... Sure thing. A James Peebles is listed as being a client of Ray's, and the girl he oh, saw of course. Heather Gostin. Perverted old well, white man. this just got juicy. Time for Miss Blackwell to use some Miss Black blackmail. Hi, Mr. Peebles? Hello. Rosangela, was it? What can I do for you? Well, sir, you're fucked. Jim, I know everything. Sorry? I know who Heather is and what she did for a living. I also know that you procured her services. There was a note in Tanya's apartment that said, I know about Heather. It was signed, J. That could have been anybody. Do you really expect me to believe that now? <sighs> No, I don't. Tell me about your involvement with Heather. God, it was over 25 years ago. Working the late shift, sleeping during the day. Who has time for a social life? So, yes, I found other ways to meet my needs. Heather was one of them. I'm not proud of it, but I make no excuses for it either. You said it was 25 years ago, so you stopped seeing her. She quit the business. I didn't know what happened to her until she walked in that door. The new face of Good Morning, Tanya Corsi. Tanya? Yeah, the name was different. The hair was different. The dun, whole dun, dun. was different. But I knew. Heather is Tanya. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Heather and Tanya are the same person? You didn't know? Isn't that what all this is about? She reinvented herself, changed her looks, got a gig as a weather girl, worked her way up to this newsroom, worked here for years, and never knew who I was. Until I told her. Until you blackmailed her, you mean? Look, 30 years I've been here, and I haven't moved from this damn desk. I saw an opportunity, and I took it. So, I wrote her that note. I threatened to expose her past. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect her to go home and... For that to happen. They said she fell in the shower because she was drunk, but she was only drunk because of me. So what now? I'm going to have to tell the police. Oh, I knew it would happen somehow or another. I have to Do rat you, you out. You're not really going to snitch on the guy, are you? I don't see the point. Neither do I. It's not like he actually did anything aside from make a few bad choices. Let's get going.
So what exactly happened? Tanya, Heather, whoever, she split? She killed off her past so thoroughly that it became its own ghost? I suppose so. I didn't know ghosts could do that. What? You read the rule book? Because I sure haven't. If we got a split spook on our hands, we gotta put him back together. Shit's getting weird. Hi there. Hello again, mister. What brings you by? Listen, Tanya, I know who you are. We've already covered this, haven't we? No, I mean who you really are. You're Heather Goffstein. Or at least you were. I told you, I don't know any Heather. Tanya. I don't know any Heather because Heather is gone. Heather is dead. She doesn't exist anymore. She can't. I'm sorry, Tanya, but she does. What do you want? Money? A promotion? Like Jim? No, I just want you to come with me. There's someone you need to meet. I don't have a choice, do I? Fine, lead on. But remember this, Peter didn't just teach me how to do Pilates. Take me anywhere funny, and you'll be looking at a broken nose. I wouldn't dream of it. Skank trying to act like she doesn't want to just get... Just trust me. Joey trust in the you. ghost That's sack. Rich. She's a bona fide skank. You, who are you? Are you in league with this man? Um... Kind of? Two blackmailers instead of one. This is just great. Where the hell are you taking me? Just follow us, okay? Can I at least call my car service? I don't think that's possible. What do you mean? She means that they'd never come in this weather. It's better to walk. Come on. Where are we going? It's just up this way. Wait, I know this building. You don't say. I used to live here, back when I was... Why did slide. you bring me here? Whatever you brought me here for, get on with it. Tanya, there's someone you need to meet. There's nobody here I want to see, I assure you. Even still, I just need you to follow me. Then we can forget about this whole thing. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Heather? Hey, who's your friend? What is this? Who are you? Answer me! Heather Goffstein? Who are you? No. No, 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 no. This is insane. I'm going insane. Um, sorry? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't exist. What's your problem? My problem? My problem is that I hate you. Hate me? You don't even know me. I destroyed you. I got rid of your name. I got rid of your hair. She I would have gotten got rid of your taller face if she I got older. It. You can't get rid of me that easily. No kidding. For 20 years I was free of you. And now you come breezing back. Breezing back? From where? First Jim wanted a promotion. And now this idiot here wants... I don't know what! Each of you hang on to the tie. Hey, leave me out of this. Not, Not a chance, chance mister. mister. Huh? You be, be quiet. quiet. Hey! Oh, shit, here we go. They're gonna meld. Stop, Stop that. that! Look at each other. You're the same person, give or take 20 years. I don't understand. I don't think I want to. Tanya, what happened when you got Jim's note? What, what note? It's too late to deny it. Nothing happened. I just wanted to forget. Forget what? Forget you. Forget this whole life I left behind. Why? Why are you so ashamed of me? All this, this life, it's a part of who you were, who you become. Will I ever be free of you? Do you really want to be? I'm not a bad person. I'm just kind of lost. 
I know I'll find my way eventually. Isn't that the important thing? Well, isn't it? Not really, not when you're getting fucking Look at dick you. slammed and I really was beautiful choking once. on cock all night. You're really beautiful now. Contracting all kinds of STDs. Damn straight. Wow. You okay? Okay. I haven't felt this good in years. It's like an espresso and a colonic all at once. All right. Speaking of which, you can take your blackmail threat and shut it. And I'm going to tell Jim the same thing. Maybe it'll end my career, or maybe it'll give me a book deal. Either way, I'm tired of hiding. Tanya, listen. No, I'm not Tanya anymore. Tanya died. She... She what? She... I... We... Took three Valium with a vodka chaser. That's all I remember. You're not really a blackmailer, are you? No, I'm not. I'm... I'm dead? I'm sorry. I... Ugh. If I'm dead, why do I feel sick to my stomach? Listen, there's no time to explain. Just grab a hold of this. What? Just do it. That was... interesting. Did it work? Only one way to find out. Hey, look who's here. Heather, safe and sound. Safe. You were always an optimist, Michael. Sorry, I know this is not exactly the reunion we expected after all this time. But you have no idea. I thought you were... Well, I explained that already. So, Madeline, you got your spook. What have you learned? It is interesting. This spirit is experiencing what would be considered nausea in a living person. This spirit? I do have a name. Apologies. She is being pulled. There is the signature of another spirit at work. A signature? Yes. I can see it. It is faint, but I can see it. Only the power of this circle is stopping it from gaining a foothold. Unfortunately, it is too faint for me to see anything useful. And we dare not lower the circle. I need to examine another soul. One that is marked like this one. And by another soul, you mean Peter, don't you? Peter? Peter Fielding? Yes. His soul is still out there. I see. We need to go get Peter. And we shall do so in the next video. Thanks for watching.